On Monday, March 6, 2023, while still in her meditation retreat for the world, our most compassionate Supreme Master Ching Hai, vegan, lovingly made time to talk to Supreme Master Television team members. As Master checked on the team's welfare and comfort, she also graciously answered questions prepared by them regarding the relationship between the United Kingdom and the European Union, as well as shared new important information from heavens concerning the year 2027 and humanity's future. Hello, Master. Hello, Master. Hello. Hello, how are you? Are you guys all right? Everything good? Yes. Yes, we are good, master. master. Mm. Yeah, sorry I don't have a really good place for you guys at the moment. So just stay there. Stay put. Because of internet problem, we will see if it goes faster, then you can move. I had to move to uh, another area, and now I don't have internet. Uh, you got to be patient, okay? Yeah. Understand, Master. <laughs> All right. Any important things you want to tell me? On the phone only. <laughs> um, we have two questions, Master. Yeah, tell me quick. Um, why does the UK not want to rejoin the EU? And why have they left the EU? Oh, hey. Uh, I did not ask <laughs> then. Uh, according to the report, they prefer to be independent and the British people don't like to be controlled too much, you know? Yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, I understand. I also can understand because after the European Union, because my bank became so strict, even when I just wanted. 10,000 US dollars or 40,000 euros to give to some charity. They didn't let me. Wow. wow. They said, I have to go find a lawyer because for a long time I have not been there. I have not been drawn the money, so I have to find a lawyer, an international guy, whatever. Oh, yeah. I understand. Yeah, and then how do I have time to do all that, you know? Yes, yes, master. yes, yes master. And I'm not even sure if they will accept <laughs> whatever explanation. When they accepted my money, they should already know where it comes from, right? Not now. Right. Yes. yes. Not many uh, tens of years later and then ask me to find all the papers to prove it. I don't have any more papers left, but they should know it because the money comes from where, where, where. They should have recorded it in their system, you know? Yes, yes, yes master. master. This is not fair that they just stop my money like that and make me and it takes so much time. I truly don't have time. <laughs> what for to be a master and then get so many obstructions like this? At the moment, I don't have a lot of money to pay for this, so that I don't know what's next. Maybe that's the reason the British also don't like. You know, maybe they also have problems with the bank money transference, you know, and uh, taking out cash. If you just spend like 10,000 plus euros in one go or send it to somebody as a payment or because you owe him or because he helped you to buy something, then the bank will ask you for the proof for the receipt. It's funny. Yeah. That's what really bother me. It's not fair, you know. My money, I earn it very honestly. I don't think the idea of having a European Union is a bad idea. It's quite good, you know, united we stand. It's just that the people, some of the departments of the European Union, these people who organize something in the European Union system, maybe don't have sufficient IQ. Oh, are not trained well enough and mess up the reputation. Understand. Understand. Yeah, because it's ironic that they are the ones who emphasize no corruption. Recently, one of the vice presidents of the European Union has been in jail for corruption. Mm. Mm. Oh. Yeah, it's in the news all over. And they found money. <laughs> Caught red-handed with cash, maybe a million or more. Oh, my God. 
truly, the, the real evidence is there. <laughs> in my bank account, there's no evidence of doing anything wrong. And all the money has been legally put in there. Okay? Mm. Yes. Yes, Master. Because even before the European Union, if you wanted to put money in the bank, you had to prove it already. Yes, yes Master. Understand. You had to say where it comes from. I don't even have exceedingly a lot of money in the bank. Imagine how many more people have a lot of money in the bank and who have to do international business. How troublesome for them. Yeah, yeah. indeed. I mean, whatever system, you cannot just blanket all the people like that and demand this kind of impossible task for the client, yeah? Yes, Master. Right. And if they already know my name and they know who I am and what I'm doing in the world, then they should trust me, you know? Give me my money to spend where I need it. I cannot even, my God, la. Uh. The money I earn is the most honest money ever. Yes, yes master. master. If they don't even know what I do to earn my money, then then they should close their bank, truly. Because mm-hmm. normally the bank, they know how to trace people's history and uh, their whereabouts and what they do. They are allowed to do that. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. They can get in touch with police records and anything. And they still don't know who I am and what I'm doing. So now, this is a ridiculous thing. Maybe this is one of the many reasons that the British people don't like to rejoin the European Union, even though still many people want to for convenience and commercial and economic sake, but still, mostly they don't want to, okay? Mm, Yes, Master. Whatever the problem between the British and the European Union is, they have to sort it out. Not try to so-called like uh, harass the British people just because they got out of the European Union. You know, that's not fair. and It's a bad reputation. For example, the European people can stay in England for six months straight, but the British cannot stay in the European Union for more than three months. Oh. Oh. They have to leave the European Union for three months and wait until three months later in order to come back for another three months. Six months in a year, you cannot even take it all at once. It's inconvenient for many people. Yes, it is. Yes, yes, master. master. Can you hear now? Hello? Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Okay. It's not fair treatment since the Brexit. It doesn't seem like a gentlemanly treatment. It's like vengeance or something. That's what I heard the British people complain about. Yes, yes master. master. It's not fair. It's not fair. Not fair, really. So uh, I don't know whom to blame either. The British must have the reasons to back out because otherwise, oh, why would they do that? It's better for trading better for transportation, uh, housing, and many other uh, conveniences if they are together with the European Union. But I guess they lost trust in the European Union. That's what I feel, according to what I read in the news. Yes, 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 Master. They don't feel like there's fair treatment of each other. Right, right. And I said also before that this is not nice to kick people out after just three months like that, whereas they themselves, the Europeans, can stay in Britain for six months. Yes, Master. Yes, master. Yes, yes, and yes, master. even if they stay longer or whatever, I never heard that Great Britain kick any of the European member citizens out of their country. I have not read that anywhere. Maybe I miss it. But I read many times that the European Union really kick the British out of Europe. Oh. I mean, they are just citizens. Not all of them can decide whatever the politicians do about Britain, about Brexit or not. Yes, Master. It's just very, very unfair and very inconvenient for them. They have to sell their house. It's very difficult to go back and forth and they don't have enough time to even prepare 
to sell their houses or so even to enjoy is have to keep coming and going on the short notice like that. Because before the European Union existed, many British bought houses or did business in any European country. And now it's very difficult for them. Too much paperwork, too much red tape. Right, right. Who would like that type of attitude between neighbors? Yes, master. Yeah, master. Even if the British want to do Brexit, meaning get out of the European Union, they're not killing anybody. They're not stealing anything from them. Yes, yes, master. yes master. They just prefer to be independent. It's not like a big deal or criminal or anything that their citizens should be treated in that way. Yes, master. Yeah, but this war, you can never continue talking enough about what... Uh, what the humans are doing to each other. Yes, 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 master. yes master. Not to talk about what they're doing to helpless, defenseless, animals, called citizens of the planet. Yes, master. Yes, master. Yes, master. And the British have been independent ever since. You can even remember. And their royal system, not absolute royal, but they still have a royal system and they're proud of themselves. They normally don't bother anybody and don't like to be controlled. They are their own sovereigns. That's a problem, I guess. Yes. And recently I heard that they are going to abolish or maybe they abolish already some of the many rules from the European Union. I guess too many rules. Nobody can wear it. Yes, understand. understand. Yes, master. So I had told you that I really like countries to group together as a unified entity. It might be better for protection and for the economy, for trading and all that. Yes, yes, yes sure. Yes. But if the rules are too strict and too rigid, then people don't like it, then I cannot do anything. I can only suggest or maybe voice my opinion, but people have to live their life. Mm-hmm. Yes, that's yes, right. Because the British have been living alone before the European Union ever existed, and they always are okay. Yeah. They have always been okay, so they don't care about joining anybody. And if there's too much uh, regulation, or rules, and whatever is new to them, restrict their freedom, then, <laughs> then I cannot blame them if they don't want to stay with the European Union. Yes, 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 yes sir. Like, for example, the war in Ukraine. The British Prime Minister went there alone immediately, no need to ask the European Union Commission or anything. They help Ukraine almost like immediately when they need it. Otherwise, if you are in the European Union, maybe you have to ask. Oh, yes, yes. I understand. For example, like that. And also, they did the vaccine first. They didn't have to ask permission or get agreement from the European Union. Maybe similar things like that happen. They are the proud folk. They can't be underlings. Yes, yes, master. yes, master. And they have always been independent and making their own decisions. If they want to rejoin the European Union, they have to vote for it. They mm. have to ask people if they want it. It's not like the government even can decide anything alone. Yes, 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 yes master. master. Or it's not like the king and the queen and the royal family can decide anything for the British people. Yes, yes master. master. So... Are you happy with my answer? Yes, Master. Yes, ma- thank, yes you. Ma- thank you, Master. Okay, good, good. Master? Yeah. Uh, is there any good news for 2027? Oh, I'm sorry. I wish. I wish we had. No, no. Oh. Uh, oh. It's bad news, but I just didn't want to tell. For example, I wanted to find out what they mean by weapons of karmic poison to suffocate people. Oh. They didn't answer me directly, but the vision is the earth will, this is exactly what they told me, the earth will be swollen. Wow. You hear me now? Yeah? Swollen. Yes, 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 master. yes master. And then will bust. And these are hot substances, hot uh, magma, lava from the earth will flow out and kill everyone, whoever is nearby. Wow. wow. Oh my oh, God. No. Will kill a lot of people. Wow. Because that depends on me, but I guess that is a weapon of karmic poison. Oh. And also, 
other things from the sky will fall down. And, uh, the earth will be, I don't know if the earth will even exist. Not to talk about humans. Oh, wow. So scary. Terrible. The inside of the earth is very hot. Yes, 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 yes master. master. And maybe because of karmic consequences, it will come nearer to the crust of the earth, nearer to the surface, and then it will just explode like that. Wow. wow. And, oh yeah, recently, I think I read somewhere that... Uh, Scientists have discovered that the hot substance or lava from inside the Earth has come near to the Earth's crust, about 100 miles away only. Wow. 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 And this is too near. Yes, yes, yes master. master. A team of researchers at the University of Texas at Austin, UTA, has found a new layer under Earth's crust called melt, according to a press release. It comprises hot molten rocks and reveals useful insights about our planet's tectonic plate activity. These plates are constantly moving, and their movement is linked to the occurrence of earthquakes, tsunamis, and volcanic eruptions. The newly discovered layer melt is located 100 miles 161 kilometers, under the Earth's surface and is a part of the asthenosphere. This is the first time scientists have confirmed the existence of this new layer beneath the Earth's crust. Study author Hua found melt as an anomaly in the asthenosphere. He and his team were studying seismic images of the asthenosphere and discovered a unique molten region whose seismic readings were not at all in relation to the tectonic plate movement. They observed the same anomaly on a global scale and were astonished by the seismic properties of this molten region, which they called melt. The fact it is unrelated to things we know means that maybe it serves an unexplored purpose beneath the Earth's crust. I don't know how long the Earth's surface, the Earth's crust, can hold it. Mm. Not just that, and, and climate change or the thawing of the permafrost and methane gas come out, etc., etc., et and then uh, the magnetic fields are kind of damaged. And they say there will be more disasters coming. People across the globe have reported alarming animal behaviors in the run-up to natural disasters. It is said that animals can sense impending danger, sending warning signals to people of the catastrophes that are yet to come. Recently, the falling of hundreds of blackbirds from the sky in Mexico, the bizarre shift in the moving pattern of animals toward high land, the excessive beaching of the whales, and a lot of strange changes in animal behavior across the globe are said to hint towards something very big and bad that is about to happen. I said, please, can you guys do something, make it slow and slow, give humans some more time to think, to change. They did answer me. Oh, wow. Oh, so sad. <laughs> I'm still thinking of a way, but I'm not sure what. Understand. Understand, I say. I would do anything, you know that, even if it damages or ruins my body or my reputation, anything I'll do, but it just don't give me any options at the moment. Please do pray for all beings, okay? For humans, for all other beings. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, master. That's what I do. And it makes it worse now that I am in a situation where I haven't even had internet for some days already. Oh, wow. Any other questions, comments, anything you want to say? Uh, is there anywhere is safe on the Earth right now or in the future? I have no idea because they don't tell me where it will happen. They just say the Earth will be swollen and explode and all these hot 
boiling substances, boiling lava will explode out, will flow out of the earth's surface and will kill people. Wow. Because that's what the collective karma produces. You can't even blame all the demons because it is the karma that allows them to have the power to destroy our planet and kill humans and other beings. Yes, 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 Master. We are the ones who make all this trouble, war and famine. We spend money on killing instead of healing. <laughs> we talk of war instead of negotiating for peace. It should not even have to be a negotiation. You know, we live peacefully together. The earth has so much to offer, but we waste it, we destroy it. People are suffering, hungry, and dying. You know, disease is everywhere because we don't spend the tax money for the right purposes. You know all that. And we kill humans and we kill animals, people without blinking our eyes, even. So, how can anybody even do anything? Understand. Understand, I say. The heavens think humans are mad. Not worthy to be rescued, not worthy to be taught anything anymore because they don't listen. Humans don't listen to wisdom. They don't listen to righteousness or good teaching. They just do what they want and badly influence each other to do the same bad stuff. Yes, Master. Yes, yes, master. A pity. All these days I try many things. I don't have internet. Maybe heaven even forbids me to work in that way. Wow. 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 Okay, whatever. Whatever happens, happens. Okay, I do my best, you do your best. And that's all we can do. Pray, meditate. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. Master. The solution is as simple as the fingers on my hand. Be vegan, my peace. Because as you saw, so shall you read, eh? Yes, right. yes, yes Master. Master. If you do good things, you get good results. If you make peace, you will have peace. If you be good to others, good things will come to you. It's very simple logic. Like attracts like. No need to talk big about anything else. It's no big thing. I understand, yes, master. 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 Yeah, if you plant apple seeds, you have apple trees. But how come humans don't understand all this? And they're harming themselves, they're poisoning themselves. They're really, really destroying life on this beautiful planet. We have to see. Maybe one day, heaven will let me know any solution, any sacrifice I can do. Right now, nothing. Yes, wow. master. Yes, master. Yes, master. Uh, sorry about that. I'm also very sorry, but my crying doesn't help. And my prayers don't seem to be effective anymore. They even told me, God abandoned you. Meaning the planet, the world. Oh. Yes. Oh. God abandoned the world and demons seized. Oh, snatched, that's their word. Oh. God abandoned you. Demons snatched your planet. Oh. Wow. Your world, is it your world? God abandoned you. Demons snatched your world. That's what they told me. Exactly the word. So sad. Uh, and even the moon is getting further and further away from us. Oh. Not just the gods <laughs> abandon us, but the moon even is getting away from us. Uh, we have only bad news these days. Oh. You know, the moon was in a favorable position for our planet. If the moon wasn't in that favorable fixed place, then we wouldn't exist. Yes, Master. We wouldn't exist as a planet. And it wouldn't be so favorable and abundant like the way we have. Mm. And now the moon is moving further and further away. So who knows what might happen. Master. Yes, Master. The cosmos is balanced. will be disturbed. Mm. And then God knows where we're going. NASA is predicting record flooding on Earth due to the shifting of the Moon. Even though separated by hundreds of thousands of kilometers, the Moon has huge effects on the Earth. In fact, scientists have claimed life would be completely different on Earth without the effect of the Moon. 
The Apollo laser experiments prove that the moon is receding at a rate of 2 inches or 5 centimeters per year. The distance between the Earth and the moon grew while their spins shrank. And according to NASA, rising sea levels caused by climate change combined with the influence of the lunar nodal cycle will result in a dramatic increase in the number of high tide floods soon. Benjamin Hemlington, a research scientist and the leader of NASA's sea level change science team, studies how sea levels respond to both the natural and human actions, and what this means. According to Hemlington, these floods exacerbated by the moon will damage infrastructure and alter coastlines. Flooding will increase fourfold. Since the lunar nodal cycle affects every location on the planet and sea levels are rising everywhere, we will see an increase in high tide floods all over the world. And it's not just humans that will bear the effects of these floods. The lunar nodal cycle may present many challenges for humans, but it poses an existential threat to wildlife and coastal ecosystems. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration at NOAA has carried out a study of what rising sea level means. Interestingly, the results coincide with the effects and timeline of the moon's wobbling. And as you can expect, floods caused by today's sea levels, weather patterns, and infrastructure are expected to occur more than 10 times as frequently in the next 30 years. This new data on sea rise is the latest confirmation that the climate crisis is flashing code red. There will be a high human price because 40% of the population of the United States lives within 60 miles of our coastlines. That's worrisome, you know. <laughs> It's not just worrisome, it could say fatal, fatal to us, to our lives. Yes, yes master. master. Not to talk about lava will be streaming out of the Earth's crust and then will be all over the planet. Where will you go, huh? Yes, Master. Yes, Master. We have nowhere to go. Yeah. Nowhere. We have only one planet A, no planet B. Even if you have an airplane, you don't even know where to go. Yes, yes master. master. Yeah, you would never know when this lava will bust out anywhere. You could be doing it everywhere at the same time, on purpose, by the force of the demon, and they direct it wherever they want. Oh, my God, yeah. Uh, understand, Master. So I don't know when the humans will wake up and take the medicine, the simple medicine. My God, anything you eat, any vegetable, anything from the vegetable kingdom, even one single thing, is enough to sustain you. Yes, Master. Yes, Master. A lot of nutrition. I talked about that before, but I can say it again. All the vegetables carry enough nutrition for you to live comfortably, healthily, and intelligently. And there will not be the need for any medicine. Humans are damaging their DNA and making themselves weaker and weaker, and less and less resistant to the attack in the air. Right, yes, yes, master. <sighs> so... I hope the heaven will be lenient. I mean, good heaven, highest heaven, to give us more leniency or at least give me some solution, no matter what I do. I don't have any at the moment. Oh. Yes, Master. We hope so. Okay, my love. Anything else? N no, master. no, Master. We hope we still can get through this time. You what? Uh, we hope we can get through this, this hard time, Master. I do hope also, because some good positive uh, force representative also told me, don't lose your hope to save your world. I'm still waiting for this solution and anything else I can do, but at the moment, no, okay? If there's something, I tell you. Or maybe I'm not allowed to tell you, but if you see the world getting better and has less disasters or more people become vegan, then you know I have had a solution. But I was not allowed to tell you. Yes, yes Master. Master. Mm. But even then, uh, it's a thankless job. If the world goes down, then all people die. Nobody can say anything. And they may say, oh, Master Jinghai was right. What for? I want to be right. Okay, I don't want to be right. And if everything goes smoothly and we have peace and... <coughs> 
vegan and the world doesn't explode. And then they would think, oh, Master Ching Hai told lies. See, nothing happened to us. We're okay. So I'm just fed up to tell anything. Yes, Master. Master. I just have to tell you because I have disciples. I have to care for them. I have to be responsible. That's all. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Otherwise, I didn't even want to say anything because whatever I say, I can uh, twist it or explain it in a different way. And I'm the only one that loses. Yes. Understand, Master. Yes, Master. Understand. Uh, whatever happens, <laughs> I'm just a loser in their explanation, their opinion. Doesn't matter. We we never need to win or anything. I just hope the world will get better and everybody has peace and love. That's all. Okay. Yes, we hope yes, so. Master. We hope so. Yeah. Thank you for everything that you're doing for the world. We still have to try. And the thing is, I'm still having hope. I'm praying that I can keep that hope alive. But you see, even if heaven allows me to have a solution to save the world, I need, I truly need humans' cooperation. They have to be vegan. They have to make peace. They can't continue to make war and then expect peace. You hear what I'm saying? Yes, yes master. master. As we saw the show we read, you cannot just make war and expect peace. Even if I have a solution, humans have to give me assistance, help, and cooperation. Otherwise, it might not work. Understand, Master. It might happen that I maybe with heavens assistance and God's blessing can save maybe a couple of or maybe several areas or several countries areas but it's not possible to save everyone and the whole planet if the earth busts out you know even if just in some specific place and not the whole world not the whole earth busts out still we will not be able to recover quickly and the world people still continue to kill animal people and torture them in such a oh, devilish way. Almost every chick's life begins with the removal of part of the upper beak. Putting a sow in a narrow cage where she can't even turn around, chaining a cow, it's all forbidden. This is actually a clear violation of the Animal Welfare Act, which prohibits mutilation. There's a specific paragraph that states this clearly. You're not allowed to cut off testicles, cut off tails, cut off ears, grind off teeth, cut off the beak. Yet it's done again and again. There are millions of exemptions. The suffering that we inflict on animals, we can't even imagine it. Not in our worst fantasies, not in the most horrific horror movie. Just since you tuned in, 9,200 cattle have been killed on the planet. Every second, nine more are added. In the same amount of time, 19,400 turkeys, 33,300 sheep and goats, 42,200 pigs, 105,000 ducks and 2.3 million chickens have been slaughtered, all in the last 16 minutes and 41 seconds. If we stacked on top of one another all the animals we kill and eat in a year, we would reach the moon and back 40 times. Fish die in such large numbers that we only measure them in tons. It's one of the biggest, if not the biggest, moral problem of our time. Nine out of ten people in Europe eat meat. This problem has in itself the solution to many other problems. To satisfy the world's appetite for meat, we have created a gigantic global industry. We kill and eat more animals in a year than the number of human beings who have ever lived on the planet from whenever we crawled out of the swamps. With devastating consequences for the Earth's ecosystem, and for billions of living beings. So how will they get permanent peace and lasting happiness on Earth? Do you hear what I'm saying? Yes, Master. Yes, master. So don't keep asking me, uh, do you have any good news? Does Master have any solution? How can you not save the planet? Maybe I can, but just uh, this lifetime and then the next lifetime, they continue to do all these uh, cruel things. To each other and to the animal people. Then they will never have peace. Then sooner or later the world will 
we kaput again, the, the earth will bust again, will explode again, the way they told me. Understand, Master. They said the earth will be swollen and explode in the lava. I forgot the word they say. But it means lava, you know, the hot? Yes. The hot molten or something they call it. The melting stone and the melting metal from the earth's inner part will, will explode all over the world and all over the planet. And where would you go? Yes, yes, yes master. master. It will destroy everything in an instant. It's not just like one or two volcanoes. Now we can forget the volcano. It's just a small stuff compared to the thing that will come from the whole Earth. Oh. Wow. When the Earth's uh, core inside and the inner side of the Earth will explode and all the lava, the same light from the volcano will flow out everywhere. Oh. 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 And now even the whole of Asia has a lot of trouble with water. Already. Everywhere we have been trouble with water. Just some lucky areas don't have trouble. But the earth is drying up already. I guess it's not just climate change. It is the earth's heating system coming out nearer, nearer to the surface. Understand. And then something maybe is already broken under underneath the earth's crust. So the water from the rivers and the lakes also runs down into this uh, molten 10,000 degrees Celsius heat. And then it will be nothing, you know? The water goes down there and becomes just nothing. Yes, yes master. master. And uh, the scientists just discovered recently that the Earth's molten rocks or metal it come nearer and nearer to the Earth's crust. They just discover that, maybe just in one place. But they cannot discover every place. And maybe in some other place, it's already too near to our surface. You hear the, the urgency of the situation, yeah? Yes. Yes, Master. Yes. So don't keep asking me, calling me, telling me to save the planet. I would if I can. But, you know, it's teamwork between myself, the heavens, and the earthling people, they don't do anything to help me. Just like a doctor cannot help the patient if they don't take the advice, if they don't take the medicine prescribed to them. Understand. Yes, master. master. And then they waited until their sickness already became very grave, very serious. Then they had to go for an operation. An operation may work even then if the patient cooperates with the doctor. But in some cases, when it's too serious already, an operation is impossible and is even dangerous. Yes, yes master. master. Yes. Is the example clear to you? Yes, yes master. master. Can you hear me still? Hello? Yes, 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 master. Is the doctor patient example clear to you? Yes. Yes, master. Yes, master. Okay, my love. Thank you. Even though it's desperate. Thank you for still trying, man. Thank you, Master, Thank you, for all, master. Trying all the time. Thank you. Love you and talk to you maybe next time again. Okay? Thank you. Thank you, yes, master. master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, master. Thank you, master. Love you, Master. God bless. God love. God protect you. Mm? Okay? Yes, master. Thank, master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. God bless, Master. Our immense gratitude to Most Loving Master for your tireless work filled with touching bravery and countless sacrifices for the sake of our world and all of its beings.